Hey everyone, Ryan back with a very long overdue update for June. And it's going to be kind of rambling because I have a lot of things in my mind I want to talk about, but we'll see how the order goes. But first off, what I'm drinking now, a can of Scar City Tokobaga Red Ale. I've never had this one before. It's an older can from back in mid-March. But a friend had one, dropped it off, kind of left it over for me to try. Didn't want to review it, but um, it's, pre it's pretty good. You can tell there's some hop character in there, but really nice caramel note to it. So as far as updates go, uh, I've been busy. I was out of town. I went to Hawaii for 11 days. My parents moved over there, so I went to visit them. And then came back, worked uh, seven days. I do four tens at work, but we had Memorial Day last week, so... Seven days, and now I'm off on Saturday to Grand, well, not quite Grand Rapids yet, but flying into Chicago, off to Kalamazoo, uh, after a, hopefully a quick little stop to Three Floyds, and I'll be staying in Kalamazoo with my buddy Daniel, who a lot of you know. He's Daniel E. Harper, I think, on YouTube, or Daniel Harper. He used to be, uh, I do the, the Beyond the Poor podcast with him, so check out beyondthepoor.com, and you can hear some of our podcasts we've done, and read some of his Written reviews, he hasn't done video with, uh, reviews in a long time now. He's been busy. So I'm going to be staying with him and his wife in Kalamazoo for a few days before heading up Wednesday to the Homebrewers Conference, which is in Grand Rapids. Looking forward to this. Staying at the Holiday Inn in Grand Rapids, which is just across the river from the convention center where they have the conference. And then, uh, and I believe it's less than a 20 minute walk down to Founders and Hopcat and Grand Rapids Brewing Company. And we're going to have to bus over to a couple other spots like Brewery of Avant. But it's going to be a lot of fun. I'll be going to the Brewery Network's ninth anniversary party Thursday night, which is normally pro night. But this year there is no pro night. So so BN anniversary is Thursday instead of the normal Wednesday before the conference. So that should be a blast. It's held at the uh, local ball field. Uh, my, I think it's like a minor league baseball stadium. It, uh, I think it's going to be completely worth the, the $50 for a ticket. So, Homebrewers Conference, looking forward to that. If you are going, let me know. Um, maybe we can meet up. I'll definitely be at BN Anniversary, uh, Club Night, uh, Friday night, and I'll be at the, grand, the, the banquet on Saturday night. I don't know what talks I'm going to yet. I'll have to figure that out. So, we'll see how that goes. Um, and I'm not sure my Wednesday plans yet, but we'll get to that. Um, I've been busy lately, so I haven't been brewing. I brewed up in early May a wit beer with kumquats instead of orange peel. My boss gave me some over four pounds of kumquats from their friend's tree, and it was like organic kumquats, so I used them a, a pound before I started slicing and dicing and removing some of the, the flesh from them. Uh, into that beer, so I brewed up this wit beer that's just been sitting. It's done fermenting. I, I took a sample. It's tasting awesome. It just needs more coriander and, and kumquats that I'll finish the beer with. But other than that, really happy with it. It's just sitting, and it's got. I got to wait till I come back and hopefully start brewing more, which is why I haven't seen any homebrew Wednesday videos because I've had nothing going on on that front. And I have a lot of beer I want to brew. I have two empty barrels: the five gallon, the Virgin American Oak. The 8-gallon bourbon barrel, I need to get those filled. I need to brew up another farmhouse ale. Uh, I've done two batches of that. I don't know if I talked about the second batch went ropey in the bottle. So some pediococcus got into that that I forgot I put in. I, I threw some dregs in I shouldn't have th threw in because I was trying to keep that a lacto-bret type of beer, lactobacillus and Britannomyces only you know, funky, sour farmhouse ale. And I made the mistake of throwing some dregs in that had pediococcus in there so learned my lesson with that so I'll start over with that beer and uh, get it going because I love that style and I want to do a Berliner Weiss at some point so I'll probably grow up a bunch of lacto for Berliner and then maybe use that for into a farmhouse ale uh, we'll see how the temperatures go it's going to depend on the weather as far as um, some other beers I want to brew uh, coming back from the Big Island, I got some macadamia nuts and Kona coffee from Greenwell Farms. So I want to do add some coconut in and do a version of Ken Schmidt's Aloha Plenty, which a lot of you know is Stone's 
the it's what the Kenschmidt Maui Stone Coconut Macadamia Nut Coffee Porter. Anyway, I'm, I'm gonna do a version of that. So that's on the brewing list. So that's kind of what's going on with me lately. Uh, just really, really busy. Uh, we'll hopefully have some reviews up. Hopefully get them posted uh, before I leave and kind of get them scheduled. So next week we'll hopefully have a couple of reviews because I, I have enough recorded. I just got to get them edited and uploaded. So hopefully I'll get that done. And I think that's about it for now. When I get back from my trip, the next weekend is Stone Sour Fest. So that'll be fun. Let me know if you guys are heading out to Stone on the Sunday, the 22nd for Sour Fest. And I'm splitting the ticket so I can participate in the ball share as well. So that'll be a good time. And other than that, summer's kind of, I'm not doing any traveling in the summer. In fact, I probably won't be traveling until JBF in early October. So. Hopefully to catch up on my brewing since May and June has been pretty crazy. So uh, I believe that's it for now. Uh, I will hopefully get a, when I get back, I'll get a new West Coaster video up. I forgot to pick up the new issue at Stone last night when I went to my homebrew club meeting. So I'll do a video on my latest column, which I never got back to because I talked about it. It was the 100% extract hot bursted beer, boil 20 minutes. Apologies, I know a lot of you wanted to see a video on how that beer turned out. So, brief summary, because it's kind of tasting old at this point. I have a little bit left, but it, it, it really worked. It turned out really well. It was still drinking good as of a couple weeks ago, and now it's starting to fall off a little bit, but surprisingly well. Uh, a lot of people did not realize that was 100% extract beer when I gave it to them, and they tried it, and, uh, you know, because I didn't tell them it was. And, you know, and they might have gone like, well, maybe it's not the best beer pale ale in the world, but um, I thought it turned out pretty good, and then when we told them it's extract, they were really surprised. That it, so uh, if you're an extract brewer, we're trying go to westcoastersd.com and you'll find my article on that in the, in the June issue, and I'll, I'll do a video on that and talk more about it. But that's going to wrap up this video. Uh, thanks for watching. Until next time, cheers.